my name is uh, Michael Höpfner. I'm from uh, Vienna, Austria, but living in Berlin. Um, I started my work uh, actually already when I was uh, at university. Um, I was pretty much interested in, in, in just in hiking, in walking, doing long, long walks, um, first across Europe, uh, and then on a, on a travel to India, northern India, uh, I got fascinated by this uh, culture in the northern part of India, in the Himalayas, and by the landscape especially. Uh, it's this kind of desert, uh, moon-like landscape. Uh, and uh, also in the nomad culture and the people, of course, who are living there. Uh, so, and in the last 10 years, um, uh, I, so after my studies, actually, uh, I really started to travel like long term between three and six months every year. Uh, and, but concentrating on this part of the world, like. Uh, Western China, Central Asia, and still doing my, my hiking trips. So I I'm, I'm limit myself to taking a rucksack with me, uh, a tent, uh, my sleeping bag, uh, and the camera and the notebook, and nothing else. Uh, I've had this idea to just uh, limit myself a little bit and, and uh, bring everything down to my own performance in the end, and especially leaving this world here and uh, uh, live of a very simple life in the end. And uh, with this work here, it's, um, uh, I, I had been in, in, in Tibet in the last uh, eight years for about uh, nine times, and uh, most of the journeys there had been illegal. I, I, I just went to Lhasa and um, took my rucksack and hiked out um, into the region around Lhasa, then even to the northwest, to the Changtang Plateau. And uh, um, yeah, this part of the work uh, I did in, in this work actually started uh, in northwestern Tibet uh, on the Chang Tang Plateau, which is an area about the size of, of Western Europe. It's uh, Spain and France all together, but there are just 100,000 people living there, so it's very sparsely inhabited. And it's mostly nomad culture there. Uh, I thought. I came there after crossing the Trans Himalaya and, and then I realized, okay, the, this uh, just nomad culture and this desire, my desire of uninhabited nature and uh, it's, it's, it's just this is a kind of Western desire. Uh, the reality was that there was uh, a big construction already going on by Chinese uh, and uh, so my whole concept of going out into nature, actually, uh, I was confronted with uh, um, uh, mining projects and new kind of start-up cities. Um, and so my, my work shifted a little bit f from this point that it's not, it was not just about my uh, being there, but uh, in confrontation, actually, what was uh, going on there. And so this work actually is about uh, the, the rituals of the people there <laughs> in contrast to modernization and uh, everything else. <laughs>